Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com and today I'm going to show you chicken chili verde, which is a chicken stewed in a delicious green sauce. And there's our chicken, I cut that up. And there's tomatillo, you've seen that in the store. And normally I don't like to use vegetables that have veins, but uh, that's just on the paper husk and it's quite a delicious, unusual flavor, kind of tart, very delicious. And what we're going to do is we're going to peel that paper husk off. Okay, I'm going to use about eight of these. Depends on the size, but I'll have the amounts on the side as usual. We're going to cut those in quarters, and then we're just going to throw those in a blender. Okay, so I want you to just toss them in your blender. Uh, of course, you, you know, do it at regular speed. So that was about eight big ones. Now the rest of the ingredients, very simple. I got a bunch of garlic, a lot of garlic, two hot jalapeno peppers, and a big old handful of fresh cilantro. I'm going to throw all that in the blender. I just trimmed the peppers took the seeds out, tossed those in. I'm gonna fill it up about halfway with chicken stock. So I want about a quarter and a half of this sauce mixture when I'm done. So that was about almost three cups of stock. And then you know how to do this, right? You just turn it on and off until it purees. And then once it gets rolling, you can leave it on. And uh, check this out, it's really cool. When you turn it off, it goes from white to dark green. All right, so we're all done. Check it out. I don't know, it's kind of cool. All right, I chopped up one onion just in a large dice. I generously salted and peppered my chicken. And in a saute pan, I'm gonna brown the chicken well on both sides. And then in my Dutch oven, I'm gonna put the onions in there with a big pinch of salt and just a little bit of oil, vegetable oil. And we're gonna cook those over medium low heat until they kind of soften and sweeten. And there's my chicken browning. Let's just listen to that for a second. It's, uh, I love that sound. All right, my onions are soft and sweet. It took about 10 minutes. I'm gonna dump in cumin, oregano, and a bay leaf. All right, and we're gonna adjust the uh, seasoning later. So that just kind of gives us a start. So I'm gonna give that about a one minute saute just to kind of wake up the herbs and spices. And then I'm gonna put my chicken back in and kind of arrange it so it all fits. Pour over your about quart and a half of the tomatillo sauce. And we're gonna bring that up to a gentle simmer. And this is gonna cook a pretty long time. So we're gonna make sure everything's kind of uh, poked down and evenly spaced. And we're gonna turn the heat down to low after it comes to a simmer. Turn it down to low. All right, we're gonna cover it. And we're just gonna gently simmer this for an hour and 15 minutes. After an hour and 15 minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid. And I'm gonna just check it out. Now, you want this falling off the bone. You do not want it undercooked at all. The meat from the thighs and legs will just literally kind of start falling off the bone. All right, I had about a pound and a half of white rose potatoes. You can use any potato, red, yellow, white, doesn't matter, in large chunks. I'm gonna poke those down into my hot liquid. And I think I'm gonna leave this uncovered, maybe turn the heat up just a hair so it kind of simmers like that. And when the potatoes are cooked, the stew, the chicken chili verde, is done. And by the way, you can skim off some of that oil off the top, of course. Real chili verde is actually chunks of pork cooked in this uh, green tomatillo and uh, chili sauce. So this was inspired by that recipe only. We're using chicken. So that was about a half hour, 35 minutes later. The potatoes are tender. The sauce is reduced a little bit. It has a really great texture. You're gonna taste that for salt and pepper. You wanna add some more hot pepper, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna spoon it in a bowl, a little more sauce. All right, to garnish, you can put a dollop of sour cream and some uh, hot pepper if you want, just for a little color. I actually use, believe it or not, non-fat yogurt, which gives it a nice little creaminess without all you know the extra fat, brightens up the plate a little bit. It's not a pretty dish, but it's a beautiful dish. You got that delicious, sweet, translucent onions, those tender potatoes soaked up all that juice. Chicken is just falling off the bone, super tender, super moist. Just a great dish, just a great dish. I hope you give that a try, super delicious, really easy. Check the ingredients on the site if necessary. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.